Hi, this is Ling Qi, uh, brush painting for beginners. And today we're going to do a plum. And um, plum is the one of the four gentlemen, which is, if you are not aware, the four gentlemen is the Chinese brush paintings fundamentals, which is orchid and bamboo, chrysanthemum, and plum. In that sequence, we also, orchid is representing spring, bamboo is summer, chrysanthemum is fall, and uh, plum is orchid. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, it's for the winter. Um, the Chinese people uh, really honor the plum because that's the only flower would uh, bloom in the deep of the winter and um, without leaves. And um, so it shows the resilience of the plant. And um, um, the other thing this subject is important to brush painting is to mostly emphasize to train you how to do trunks, tree trunks. And then today we also will um, show you the technique of how to do uh, plum trees, trunks. And then the flower is very simple. And, uh, but we will also uh, show you how to do the flower. And uh, <clears throat> the brush I'm going to use, I have uh, one of my favorite um, combination brush. It's, it's big, called Full Lotus. And uh, you can also use large flow or super flow. And then that's for the trunk. And then I have a flow brush here, for that's for the blossom. And then I have a pre-happy doll. You can use happy doll or any of your favorite uh, small brushes. That's for the center of the flower. And then I also will use um, another brush to show you how to do the trunk. And this is the our beginner's favorite for bamboo trunk. And then most people, after they use the bamboo trunk, they don't know what to do with this brush. And then um, because the two brush has different texture, the full loaders, the large combination brush, and the um, biff brush, and uh, uh, has different uh, character of the brush. So one will show, the full lotus will show a very smooth trunk. And then the uh, beef brush will show you uh, more dry texture. So you have fun with both of them. And then the color, which you can use your own watercolor that you're used to or Chinese painting color. Today, because during the holiday, a lot of you are traveling. So I'm using the 12 color companion set and plus the best bottle ink and then the bleed proof white for the center. Um, while you're traveling, this is probably the easier palette to carry it around. And then um, you can even use the black to replace the ink if they are not um, if they are not easy to traveling. And then this little jar of um, bleed proof white, and um, that's it for you to travel. Um, I'm going to um, paint a um, single um, single shuan. And uh, this is um, a full sheet cut into uh, fourth. So we'll have, give me the length for a more impressive uh, trunk. And um, um, if you are concerned with the moisture control, then you can use the double shine. And um, I personally have a tendency to paint dry. So I like to the movement of the single shot. 
and uh, um, in the in January we have we will have a Q and A session, and please um, inquire about it. That will uh, have um, a virtual session to discuss with anybody who has question about moisture control. That's actually in December. Oh, uh, this uh, December. I'm sorry, December and. Um, uh, I think if you watch our newsletter or you can email to us, that will give you the exactly uh, how to get have access to the moisture control session. It's a virtual session, Q&A, and then I will do the demonstration about moisture control. So um, I already prepared some color ahead of time, but I'm going to show you how to prepare the color too. And then... I'm going to have a mixing brush and then uh, there is a white in this little palette and then I'll dish it out for my first layer of the color for the trunk. And then the second one is green. This green is pretty good. If you wanted to add a little bit interesting, you can add a little brown to it. And then the third color is a very interesting color because when you look at all the fruit trees, it has kind of brown purplish color into the undertone. So I'm using brown. with purple. And little black from this palette. So this is my shade. And then the last but not the least is my Bass Bottle Ink, which I will use it in my mixing palette and uh, so it doesn't mix with other color okay so this is my trunk color and then let's talk about um, the flower the flower i will have this Carmine, which is like a dark pink color. And then red. Oh gosh, I messed it up. This is my bad eyes. So uh, I will do it on this side. This is the red. And then I'll wipe the white I messed it up. little color in it. This is my white. Okay, so um, this is my color preparation. And I have another one on the side in case I ran out in the middle of filming. And um, so I'm using my full lotus.
first I'm dip into the white about a quarter and then I get into the green and blend and I got into my dark brown which is black brown and purple And then I make sure that they are all well blended. And then I dip into some ink. So then um, I'm going to start about the whole composition. I'm going to start about a quarter the distance for my major main trunk. And so So you want to connect it with the dark part. my colors all three white green and dark brown and ink So this is the top branches. ink I just dipped in this is pretty much the basic of my branches and then I'm going to use the flow brush for my um, flowers so I'm using the carmine with red and I mixing make sure so this is going to be my main flower which is two white stroke and I'll um this is there is a bud on the side of here and then there is a bud on here and then a bud here and a little bud there. And then I'm going to do another main flower here, which is And then on the main flower to make the inner a little bit deeper 
and I have the red on here, and I tipped my um, trunk brown. So I will have a little bit darker. Okay, and then I will use a little bit of my bleed proof white, dish it out here. And then I will use my bleed proof wipe for the center of my flower. And then the same, and then the flow brush, dry, load straight ink, and then I'm do the calyx to hold the blood, bud. And then the flower. Okay, I'm also doing some happy dots on the skinny branches so it doesn't look so by itself. So this is it. So I'm going to write plum <coughs> in calligraphy on the side. And sign my name on the side, on the left hand side, so there is a balance. demo the trunk of the plum tree and uh, the bit brush a lot of people acquired for um, painting bamboo trunks and then afterwards they didn't know what to do with it so today I'm going to show you that I will use the bit brush to do the bam uh, plum trunk which will give you a much more um, texture look than when you use the large combination brush. So again, I'm using, I'm loading the white and then add green and then the dark purple I prepared. 
and then uh, ink. Then yeah, I'll quickly do, do the flower. Which you can do the main flower here. A little bud here. Calyx to hold a flower. Thank you. 